Today, we're going to be going over what happened so far in the Contention of Legends event here in Infinity Kingdom. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Now, as you guys know, the Contention of Legends event is still going on here in Server 97. It has been going on for a couple of weeks now. So today, we're going to take a look at the current status of the server. We'll take a look at the map, and we'll go over sort of everything that has gone on so far with my alliance and with the kingdom. And then we'll talk a little bit about what's happened and what we are going to be doing moving forward. But first, if you are a fan of Infinity Kingdom, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell because we're going to be posting more Infinity Kingdom content on this channel and you don't want to miss it so the first thing we got to go over is the map of norheim okay this is the map of server 97 at this very moment you can see that red has a majority of the cities here especially in the inner circle so as the cities are progressing got harder and harder red continued to take those while the rest of the factions and the rest of the uh, kingdoms are sort of fighting for the outer edge which makes sense let's take a look up in the uh, kingdom factions section here you can see the faction power of ruslan is just from a faction power perspective ruslan is five times stronger than blue and green combined i mean that is statistically the case as of right now you can also see that they have twice as many cities as blue and green combined as well and they are the only kingdoms that control the provincial capitals at this current moment i'm sure that will change uh, hopefully coming soon but as of right now they are the only ones now, if we're talking about my alliance specifically, the activity has become a little bit quiet as of the last week or so. And we're going to talk a little bit more about why I think that's the case in just a bit. But right now you can see that alliance by power rank, my alliance is ranked 51. Uh, if we take a look at the top 10 alliances here, four out of the top five are all red and the top four are red uh, by a pretty significant amount. Um, and you know, out of the top 10, we've got seven of the top 10 are red. So yeah, it, it's pretty powerful the the uh, Ruslan players and they have been super active and super passionate about the server which has been really cool to see it's been insane how much they've been playing how much they've been fighting it's it's crazy to see here in Infinity Kingdom over the past few days I have been inviting some new players to the Alliance and if you guys are watching this and you're in server 97 and you want to join my Alliance feel free to go ahead and apply but I have been inviting some newer members here and there we've gotten a couple over the last day or two uh and as far as taking cities goes m moving forward I think that it makes the most sense to play more of a supportive role and we'll talk about this in just a second uh, but we've had our fair share of city battles here in server 97. <laughs> And the problem is that, you know, as we teleport in and we start fighting on a city, either we take it and then it gets taken back or we're unsuccessful in that attempt because we are not only taking the city, we're also fighting players around us. And it just becomes very difficult to maintain that because really all you're doing is trading dead troops. And you know, when the Alliance faction you're going up against is five times stronger than everyone else, it becomes really difficult. So right now our Alliance has sort of taken a back seat and we're just seeing how things are playing out between the top blue and green alliances against the top red alliances moving forward. I'm still accepting new players. I'm still inviting new players to the Alliance. Uh, but at this very moment, I'm just interested to see if anything changes moving forward with Red's absolute dominance of this inner circle. My Alliance is not able to, you know, combat Red in any form or fashion. So realistically speaking, it's only going to come down to uh, fighting alongside the other alliances in both blue and green to make any sort of progress at all in this server at this moment. Some really key players in the blue king Kingdom did start in my alliance we have just started the number one ranked when it comes to honor for the individual super insane player right here very very impressive we also have uh where's jinzo uh he was in the alliance earlier as well and you'll see uh, you'll notice a lot of the high power blue players are in twk the worthy knights uh, we'll talk about that in just a minute but yeah lord javis as well as poochie 90 these are all players that were once in the alliance and now have all sort of formed together 
in the worthy knights and that's good by the way that is important moving forward that all of these strong players are playing together especially when you take a look at the individual power ranking uh you know the, look, just just look just look at this. this this is crazy okay the top 10 players by power are all red we come down the top 15 players by power are all red and Jezstar, the only non-red player in the top 20 actually insane in the top 25 there is two green players two green players in the top 25 the rest are all red it's actually insane so what i want to talk about is what i think sort of happened here in server 97 and what got us to this point with the current state of not only my alliance but the faction power as a whole so it became pretty apparent early on i would say within the first three to six days of this server being open that red significantly outnumbered blue and green not only with the number of cities that they had but with the number of high power players that they had as well which makes it really difficult to fight over cities because as soon as you spend all of your time and effort to get it you wake up the next day and it's gone because red and red has a completely flipped uh, sleep schedule from what i have here on the east coast of the united states uh, so it became really difficult in the early game and the problem with that is unsuccessful city sieges have a really negative impact on the morale of an alliance and of a kingdom imagine it's the early game and you can't take a city you know a level two city over and over and over again well a lot of players you know if they still have that opportunity they're gonna switch over to the red kingdom right because you can do that in the very early game and so i think that became pretty apparent early on but really that negative morale effect is crucial that absolutely kills certain kingdoms and certain alliances as well uh, and even my r5 officers realized this pretty much right at the beginning right now i don't know if you guys were around when the server first started but we were the most powerful alliance uh in the entire server for the first couple of hours probably the first like 12 hours or so uh we were in the top five if i'm not mistaken uh and we were very active we were recruiting a lot of powerful players and that's how we got some of the most powerful players right at, right out, out, out of the gate basically uh but once the officers that i have in my alliance once they started realizing that we were so outnumbered it became really difficult for them to be motivated to to really invest a lot of time and effort into the server and eventually what started to happen is all of the most powerful players in my alliance and in many other blue alliances uh, they all started to form under a single roof and look that makes perfect sense that's actually the best strategy that can happen in an event like this if you're a super powerful and active player then you want to be in alliance with a bunch of other super active high power players so it makes sense that all of them were able to form underneath twk which is run by another youtuber prince so shout out to him of course and it also makes sense from a progression perspective as to why these players would all form together uh, because they're all making a lot of bundle purchases right they are and so being able to share those gifts with each other has a very profound effect on the progression of their account especially in an event like this where it's sort of timed right the event ends with the contention of relics event so for us and for my alliance what i'm planning on doing is to sort of support the more powerful blue alliances where they need support in the contention of relics event that will be coming up here shortly i mean hey if i can't join their alliance the least that i can do is teleport and fight alongside them it's just the best thing that we can do right now if we have any shot at you know performing against some of the most powerful red alliances <laughs> anyway guys with that being said if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps the video out in the youtube algorithm and subscribe to the channel with the bell clicked so you know the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video comment down your thoughts on the contention of legends event i would love to hear from you guys do you think the event is going well so far do you did you expect this outcome or not as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff and if you haven't played infinity kingdom yet i don't know what you're waiting for but there's a link in the description below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace